I'm Charlotte and I'm Vanna and we're here for another weekly recipe video. Nicole's not with us but we do have someone in our audience live. <laughs> the pressure is on. Kylie, thank um, you for joining <laughs> us. Yes, of course. I think she's going to taste our recipe once we're done. Okay, so we're on the holiday theme. Kylie actually came up with this idea. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We're going to do eggnog. <laughs> Dan has never tried it. Kylie, you said you don't really like it. Mm -hmm. I, I used to I used to drink it every Christmas. Every Christmas I would drink this. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is six large egg yolks. You need a half a cup of granulated sugar, a whole cup of heavy whipping cream, two cups of milk, that's right, dose. <laughs> <laughs> a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we believe in using the real McCoy, okay? You gotta have that genuine vanilla extract. And you know what else? What else? Tell me. Whipped cream. Whipped cream for the top. We forgot whipped cream for our hot chocolate. Oh. But not for our nutmeg. Not today. <laughs> not today. Okay, so first you're going to take these. Eggs? Yep. You're going to take the eggs and you're going to put them in the bowl. In a medium size bowl. Good job. Dana, you're doing a good <laughs> job. Yeah, you're doing a good job. <laughs> All right, next, you're going to add in your half a cup of sugar. Sugar. It's going to be so sweet. Very good. Now, I want you to whisk away. What is the difference between the steer and waste and combine and... <laughs> I'm not a professional chef. I say regularly on here that I'm an amateur. So, uh, but whisking, I guess, um, mixes it a little differently. <laughs> we'll have to look that up. Mm, I'm not quite sure. Good job. Good job. In a medium sized saucepan, you're going to mix together your milk, your whipping cream, your nut meg and a pinch of salt and you're going to bring that up and to a simmer okay make sure that you don't burn your milk <laughs> that would be nasty and so that's what we're going to do now Dun. all right you're going to add your milk two cups of milk your cup of heavy whipping cream a half a teaspoon of nutmeg half a teaspoon as when Nicole would say, we sure miss Nicole. Yeah. And a pinch of salt. Okay. You're just gonna stir it around until it gets to a simmer. Okay. You're not gonna boil it. You're just gonna get it to a simmer. Kylie, do you like to travel? Um, yeah. Usually I do. Okay. So what we're gonna do? is we're going to add a spoonful at a time to this and you're going to have to whisk it really fast. All right. You think you can handle that? It's going to kill it fast. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Can you get whiskey with it? Well, <laughs> we can try, but <laughs> so today, um, did you know people uh, used to combine whiskey with eggnog? Today we're combining brandy with this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm my little name's brandy. That's what she's saying there. Okay, so we're gonna add a cup at a time to this, and Vanna is gonna whisk it very, very fast. Very fast. What's another word for very fast? Quick. Quick. Oh, I don't know. Vigorous. Rapid. Vigorously. Rapid. Whisk that, girlfriend. Mm. 
Is that vigorous enough? Yeah, that's vigorously. That's good. You're working those muscles. <laughs> Do you want to know something sad, people? What's sad? I know, yeah, it was Sunday. Vicente Fernandez died. Oh, yeah. And it was a really sad moment for a lot of people. What's, now, who is he? Tell, <coughs> tell our audience who he is in case they don't know. Vicente Fernandez was a beautiful singer. He was 81 years old, but he has made around 300 songs and played in around 60 movies. So he was a legend. Right, he was a legend. He was Mexican. He was Mexican, but all our Latin American community, we just love him. And right. we're really sad for him. Around the world are remembering the legend. He's recorded more than 300 songs, sold 65 million albums worldwide, and won three Grammys. So we're gonna toast to him today after we get this chilled. Okay, so let's add this back in there. Very good. Now we're just going to add a little bit, just a little, just a little vanilla. You know, when I was younger, I thought you could taste vanilla. Like you would taste you sweet. You can taste vanilla. But it doesn't taste as good as it smells. Have you had vanilla ice cream? I mean, yeah. But, <laughs> but if you taste the, the vanilla, it's going to be like... Have you tasted? Mm -hmm. Have you tasted? Yeah. It, it, it does taste kind of bitter mm -hmm. if it's not with anything. Yeah. Okay, so now you're just going to put it back on the stove and let it heat up a little bit, uh, like two or three minutes, and you're going to stir it constantly, okay, with the vanilla in there. And then we're going to take it off the heat add it in the pitcher and then chill it, okay? You, you have to chill this before you serve it. Chill. What do you think about us so far, Judge? You're doing great. <laughs> Okay, so once you've added it back onto the stove for just a couple more minutes and stirred it with the vanilla in there, then you're going to add it to your pitcher. And you're going to, you see about how much it makes, okay? And then you're going to chill it before you serve it, okay? If you need more than this, then you need to double it or triple it or however much you need, okay? We have our eggnog. It's not completely chilled, but we wanted to go ahead and give it a taste just to see what Dana thought. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a taste. Awesome. Looks nice. We did put our whipped cream on top with some cinnamon. Cheers. Cheers. To Vicente Fernandez. Yes. May he always rest in peace. It's good. I know. I it's thought it was good. <laughs> Do you thought? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. It's good, but it, it's good. I mean, imagine egg with milk. Hot. I know it doesn't sound very good. But it does. It is good. It's not completely chilled. You want to taste eggnog? Is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. If you like this recipe, please. Hit that like button, subscribe so you can get more recipes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Comment, like, and subscribe. And check us out on bladenonline.com. See you later.